Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Catharsis Inc. So today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you all and since I've been sick I've been hoarding these items so I'm finally getting uh, the chance to be able to show them to you. So let's go ahead and dive in. First I'm going to start with some holiday items and I found a new St. Patrick's Day decor and it's this little hanging decor that has three shamrocks and they also had one that had a gold shamrock in the middle as well but as you see I picked up the all green one I think it is so pretty love this and it comes with a little ribbon so you can hang it up and of course if you wanted to disassemble this you could do that as well and then I also got some really cute St. Patrick's Day cards. Now, if anyone is interested in receiving a St. Patrick's Day card from me, I will leave my email in the description down below. Just send me an email with your name and address and I can get you a card out in the mail. The first one is this really pretty angel. I just thought she was so darling. So I picked this one up. And a lot of the time I use these cards to craft. So I keep that in mind as I'm looking for cards. Thought this was so adorable. And these are actually Hallmark. Well, this one is anyways. So that's a really good deal for only a dollar. Then, you know, I had to pick this one up. Super cute. Reminds me of my Lupin who passed away in September. So darling. And then we have some Henri little leprechauns. Oh, I love this one. This one might be my favorite with all the woodland animals. So pretty. Love that. Oh, I don't know. This one, I like this one too. It's got the woodland animals. And this one, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but it actually has glitter on it. So cute. I love these. They had a lot of really good ones this year. Thought this one was cute with the little teacup. And I thought this one would be really pretty to frame. So that's what I got this one for. And this one's displayed as a text. It says, hope your St. Patrick's Day is like, followed by, and then, and lots of. I thought that was super cute. Got little emojis on there. Okay, so that's it for the St. Patrick's Day stuff. Now we'll hop on over to the Easter stuff. And I picked up some of these cute little wooden chicks. And you get eight in here. These would be really cute for making yourself a garland or some ornaments. And I also picked up the bunnies as well. And then for the kids' Easter basket, I also found these really cute mini pens. And there's 12 in here. But they're super cute. The designs are, are adorable. And then they also came back out with some cookies like they did for Valentine's Day, but now they're in shape of an egg. I thought these would be adorable in the kids' baskets as well. I think in addition to the blue and the green, they also had pink and yellow, I believe. And now I'll move on to some cleaning supplies. I actually found something new that I haven't seen before. And this is Juniper Clean Surface Cleaner, Fresh Scent Powerful Cleaning with Bleach. So I thought I'd give that a try. 
And then I also restocked on some Comet Classic antibacterial spray. I use this for when I clean my bathrooms. And I also found Dollar Tree's version of the Mr. Clean uh, eraser. And these are disposable quick eraser sheets. And you get five in there. So I thought I'd give those a try. And then I also found this new soft scrub duo cube. And I guess you put it in the back of your tank and it cleans up to, does it say septic, safer septic tanks, toilet components, cleans and freshens with every flush. Oh, up to four weeks, it says, okay. So I thought I'd give that a try. Oh, it shows you on the back here. Okay, you do put it, you do put it in the tank. Okay. Neat. Okay, so next up, I'll show you some craft items that I got. And if you'll remember in a previous Dollar Tree haul, I had found uh, wooden gnomes they were, you know, they were smaller. Well, I finally found the bigger versions of those. So the smaller ones stand on their own and these actually hang. So I found both of the bigger ones of that. So I was super excited about that. And then I also found some new stickers and this looks like a new brand. This is this Dollar Tree? Yeah, this is actually Dollar Tree, but it looks like a new brand from Dollar Tree and it's called Mumako. And I thought these were really pretty, so I picked some of these up. And this has 66 stickers. And these are decal stickers, it says. And then I also found some gaming ones. Thought those were super cool. And this one has 90 stickers inside. And then I also found some new stencils. So I found this one with the leaves. Thought that was so pretty. And then I also found ones with insects. So I was super excited about that as well. And then let's see, what else do we have? Oh, when I saw these, I was super excited. They sell glass mosaic cubes now. Look at this. That is so cool. So I got the green version. It has all different shades of green. And then I got the black and gray and white version. But they had other colors as well. I can't, I think they had like uh, shades of blue and they might have also had like a rainbow version of different colors. But I thought these would be so cool to craft with. I was super excited about that. That's the first time I've seen those at Dollar Tree. And then I also found some galvanized letters. And these are actually, they were just randomly there, these two. And it only gives me N through Z. So I didn't find the other letters. So I'm hoping since I'm feeling better, I can go back out and, and find more of these. Those will be great to craft with. And then in the hardware section, I found a sanding block with sandpaper and it comes with 10 sheets of sandpaper. So I'll be doing some crafts that I need to, to sand things with and it looks super easy to use on the back. So I was excited about that. And then I also found some cute stuff in the toy section. I was so excited to see that they're coming out with more doll furniture. If you don't know, I do little doll houses. So these will be super cute to make over and put in my doll houses. So you get a little bed. They also came out with a couch. I love the look of this. It looks Victorian, super pretty. And then they also came out with a little vanity set. Oh my gosh, and you get the little stool as well. That is so darling. I love that. And I even think I'm gonna see if I can get some uh, mirror cut down to fit in there. I think that'll look so pretty. And then I also found 
some yoga activity cards. I was really excited about this. So they have beginner and advanced. And these would be great not only for, for kids if you want to get them involved in yoga, but also for adults as well. I know they look a little childish, but I think they're super cute. Like, let's see, the beginner, it shows you a little bit on the back. So it shows you the pose and the name of the pose. But I think that is so cute. And then the advanced shows you some of those. Oh my gosh, I don't even think my body can move in that position. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so I thought I'd get those and me and the kids can try some of those poses out. If anything, it'll be for, it'll give us a few laughs, that's for sure. And then in the floral section, I actually found this bicycle wheel wreath. So I'm super excited to work with this. I have a great idea in mind and I think I'm gonna keep it secret for now because I think I wanna make a video on it. So that'll be coming up here. And then I also found these plant clips. So as my plants are starting to grow taller, especially my one over there that looks like a palm tree. I still don't know what kind of plant it is, but it, I'll actually, I'll put a, a video of it here so you guys can see it. But it it's kind of curving. So I wanna get like a dowel rod or something like that and help it to grow straight up. And these clips will help with that. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I found some, these actually look like they're from fall but they're uh, little gnome characters for fairy garden. See how it has the fall leaves on there? But I really like this one because he's holding a book. I love that. So I picked those up. And then in one of my previous hauls, I had hauled one of these plant hangers, but it was in a really pretty, it was kind of like a brownish, yellowy orange, but I found a black one. And I think this one will look really pretty here in the living room. So it'll be an accent for my fireplace there. But I love that. And I think I might actually hang it up here in this corner here. I think that'll look really nice. Okay, so then we'll move on to some office stuff. Now, this was just darling. I'm not, I don't think I've previously hauled it. I think I got the folder, but this is the binder. And these are just so cute. I love these little snack food designs. Super cute. And this is actually hard. It's not like the flimsy binders. So I really like that. Um, it doesn't have any pockets on the inside, but you could actually make pockets if you wanted to. You know, get um, some cardstock and glue it on to here and then you have yourself a little pocket but i thought these were super cute and that'll go with my uh folder so i'll have a little collection of those and then i also found this organizer file for my taxes i thought this was really nice i love the peekaboo here so um, you can actually write down what each tab is here, and then you'd be able to see it through the peekaboo spot. But these actually have a spot like a folder, and then this one here has a piece of paper in there. So if you wanted to, you know, write down what was, you know, more notes, like this would be a little hint of what's inside, and then you could write more notes for it down though, down there. That would be a good idea as well. But I thought this was really sleek and would be perfect for filing my taxes. And then once you see this, you'll know I had to get it. It's this cute little pencil pouch and it's in rainbow colors. I just think this is so adorable. And it opens up and it's actually lined. So that's really nice. It's got black lining in there and it doesn't feel cheaply made. It's really nice and thick. So I love that. This is gonna be great to hold my pens and pencils in. And then, you know, every time I go to Dollar Tree, I have to find some books. So <laughs> I did. 
And this time I found one called Creatures of Charm and Hunger by Molly Tanzer. So I thought I'd give that a read. And this one is about World War II. Absolutely love those. So I had to pick that up. And then I also found some really adorable children's books. So the first one was actually with the Easter stuff. And this is called Springtime with Foxes. I thought this was so adorable. It's a wooden book, super cute. And they actually had more. They had like springtime with unicorns. And I don't know, there was like five different versions, but they were all adorable. But that's the one that I picked up. And then the, these next ones are so cool, but they're in the shape of luggage. And they teach you about different uh, countries. So this one is about Egypt. And I just thought this was so neat. I love that. And then they also had one about India. So cool. And then I also found one about Italy. And these are the only three that I found. So if you've seen other countries, please let me know and I'll be on the hunt myself as well. Cause these are so adorable. I love these. And then let's see, what else do we got? Oh, I had to restock on some permanent markers. So I got a three pack. And then I also found some new gel pens and these are 1.0 mm and it says super metallic. I thought these colors were so pretty. So I got those for journaling. And then I also found what looks to be like a mini traveler's notebook. I thought this was super nice and it looks like a faux leather. I'm gonna open it up here so you all can see it. But it comes with a little pen. And I just thought this was super nice. Oh, it even has a ribbon. That is so sweet. I love this. So you could just throw this in your purse or your backpack and Oh, it's just so sleek. I love it so much. Super cute. And then I also found a magnet and I thought this was so pretty. It says, keep going, keep growing. That is just so darling. Look at the little snail. I love that. And then next up, I actually found some more shirts and I was so excited. These are so nice. So I found this white polo shirt with these brown buttons. I thought this was so nice for only $1.25. Like get out of here. You can't beat that. So I picked that up. Love that. And then I also found a plain blue t-shirt. And with growing kids, this is a great deal. Like you cannot beat a dollar twenty-five. So I got those. And then let's see. Oh, let's go, let's move into some bath and body items. So I found these really cute lip balms, and they're from Lip Smacker. So you got uh matcha, matcha latte and bubble tea. I thought those were so adorable. These would be super cute to throw in an Easter basket or, you know, to get your bestie with maybe even a real bubble tea or matcha latte. I think that would be so cute. Or you know what you could do? You could get them like a Starbucks, uh, Starbucks gift card or a coffee shop gift card and uh, gift it with one of these. That would be adorable. Love that. Okay, and then... Let's see, I also found a lip balm from Chapstick and this is a moisture and tint. So I thought I'd give that a try. I thought this color was super pretty. It reminds me of a springy color. So pick that up. And then another one I got, um, this is more, let's see what the difference is. I don't know. Oh, this might be, See how this looks like a lipstick? So maybe this is a lip balm. Oh, I just noticed this also has sunscreen in it. And this is a tinted moisturizer. 
Well, they both are tinted moisturizer. I don't know the difference. Anyways, there's those colors. And then I also found a new lip scrub and it's gummy bear flavored. I am super excited to try this out. If you've watched my videos for a while now, you'll know that I love lip scrubs. So that'll be an awesome one to try out there. And then let's see. Oh, this is another lip scrub. Exfoliates and smooths. And this is actually by Chapstick. So yeah, can't wait to try that one out too. And then I also found, and this is by Global Beauty Care. It's a total of 18 nose strips. Uh, they're cleansing. So you get charcoal and tea tree, charcoal and witch hazel, and charcoal and vitamin C. So I thought I'd give those a try. And then next up, I found these hair masks. And I'm super excited there by Bolero. So one is coconut milk and honey infused with avocado oil. And then this one is lavender and tea tree infused with fresh mint. Ah, I'm super excited to try those out. I bet they smell amazing. Wonder if I can smell it through the, it might be, oh no, it's, it's sealed. Okay, well we'll smell them another time. Okay, what else do we got? Oh. This brand new shampoo I found, it's called Thicker Fuller Hair with Caffeine Energizer Revitalizing Shampoo. So I thought I'd try that out. I love the aesthetic of the bottle. That is so pretty. Gorgeous. Okay, and then last but not least, we'll go through some food products. And I'm not sure if I've already hauled this or not, but I just found a full-size box of Dunkaroo cereal, and I know I've hauled the icing before, but I wasn't sure about the family-size box of Dunkaroos. Like, holy cow, a family size? This could run for five, six bucks in like places like Walmart. That is crazy. So I picked some of this up for the kids. They'll love that. And then I also found some cereal for myself, and this is Apple Cinnamon Chex. And these are gluten-free. I thought those would be super yummy. These would even be good to make a Chex Mix with, like a, a sweet Chex Mix. So, got that. And then I've also seen people raving about these aluminum foil sheets. So I picked some of these up, and apparently, they're already pre-cut to uh, fit a standard size cookie sheet and there's 30 sheets in here. So I thought I'd give that a try. Thought that would be, you know, out of convenience. That would be nice. And then I also found these Fiber Boost chocolate bars. And Sunbest is the same company that makes those bars I really like that are um, honey and yogurt. So I thought I'd give these a try. Let's see, how many come in here? Three, three? You only get three? What? Are you serious? Let me see. You only get three, seriously. What? And they're that tiny? That might not be a good deal, guys. For only $1.25? I don't know, because fiber bars at Walmart, like they sell them individually, they can be kind of pricey. So maybe that is a good deal. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would three fiber bars be a good deal for $1.25? I don't know. And then I also found this uh, mug treats, and I have found ones with cake before, but this one is cinnamon roll. I thought that would be super good. And this comes with uh, four packs. So you can make it four different times and it says icing included. Ooh, that'd be yummy. Sounds delicious. And then the last thing I got, I found name brand seasoning. This is Longhorn Steakhouse Grill Seasoning. I cannot wait to try this out. When I saw this for only $1.25, Oh my word, I about screamed. This is an excellent deal. Excellent. 
But that is my entire Dollar Tree haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.